Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! Boom, 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 boom! <laughs> Review stuff. And today we're gonna do a cooking video and I'm so excited because I am going to make a delicious dinner for my husband and I. So I thought that I would show you guys how to make a delicious dinner um, for a family of five or two people and two dogs. But our dogs have already eaten today so we can kind of forget about that. But anyway, oh, <laughs> gotta move back my stage a little bit so I can dance in the kitchen, dance in the kitchen. So anyway, let me tell you what happened first of all. I was going to do a review video yesterday. So I have this area, oh, this was two days ago. I have this area in the garage where I keep literally everything that anybody has ever sent me on YouTube. I also have over there, like everything I've ever purchased as props. Yes, I have a one man show, so I have lots of props. Props for YouTube, you know, like Sally Joe and all that. And then I also have all my fans for my other channel. Not like fans, like fans! Because I'm not one of your fans! That's from Mommy Dearest. Anyway, um, and I have all this other stuff out there. Crap, okay? It's like five feet by five feet up against the wall. My husband's wanted me to clean it out forever. Well, the day came two days ago, and I'll tell you why. Because I walked out there to find this thing that you make grilled cheeses in that was going to be real cool, but I can't find it anywhere. I think I might have thrown it away by accident. So anyway, I was looking, and when I was walking out there, I looked, and I noticed that we had a leak in our ceiling from our bathroom. So we're having a plumber come out on Monday to come look at that. But that meant Peter had to go through everything that was in that five by five area, box it all up and throw a ton of it away. So I went through everything that I have purchased to review for this channel. And let me just tell you, I have three boxes packed full of stuff. So I have like 50, 60 days of stuff to review. And I just purchased some stuff on Amazon. And I'm gonna get on Wish, the little app Wish, and I'm gonna order some stuff too because it's real cheap over there. So I'm real excited about that. But today I thought I would do a cooking video. I think like once a week I might do like cooking with Peter over here. So this is today's cooking channel. Uh, we're gonna get to the meal in just a second. It's a delicious meal, you're gonna be so excited. But first, I should show you how I cook which is I don't. I don't cook at all. I don't like to cook. I don't, I had thought about, I'm mean, thinking about starting a cooking channel, but I have to be able to go to the grocery store on a regular basis to do that. And I thought it'd be real funny. I would like pick different recipes out and then I would try them on my own. Right. And so I thought this will be real easy and this is what I'll do. And then it'll be real funny. Ha ha. See, cause it'll be me learning how to cook and you guys laughing at what an idiot I am. And I thought that would be real fun. Right. So let me show you how I, but until like I can start going out to the grocery store regularly, I'm not going to do that. And I will tell you this part of this story is about Costco. We went to Costco yesterday and we got enough stuff that we don't have to go out of this house for another month. We hadn't left the house for two weeks. And I'm like, I am not going out again. We have everything that we need in the entire world from Costco. And so we are set to not leave the house for another month. And we have been social distancing and staying at home. We're losing our minds, which is why we need a really nice dinner tonight. But we feel very, very grateful too, because, you know, we've been able to stay in contact with our friends and family and everybody's healthy right now. We have a house, we have a roof over our head until it collapses in the garage, and we have food to eat, and our dogs are healthy, and we're healthy. So, I hope you guys are as well, and let's, you know, before we get into the comedy of this video, let's, I don't know, be thankful, be grateful for those positive things that we do have. So anyway, and I'm thankful for all of you that watch my channel. Now, let me tell you how I cook. First of all, I always have to have a Diet Coke, okay? Now, if you watch my vlog, I've been vlogging every day from my driveway for an hour and a half. I just talk about all kinds of things out there. It's so much fun, because I used to see I used to uh, drive to the gas station I would get a fountain pop or I would drive through McDonald's the ones that weren't closed and because they were always like three of them closed even though they said 24 hours they were in there laughing at me they just didn't want my money I don't care dollar nine they can have it so anyway um since I can't woo, I'm winded I need a break so anyway um, since I can't do that anymore, I just pour a Diet Coke and uh, I go sit in my driveway. Now, what you want is you want a tumbler like mine. See, that has a palm tree on it. Then even though you're sitting in your car and it's 40 degree weather outside, you still think that you're like on your way to Florida or something like that. Okay, I wish I was in Florida. If you live in Florida, Arizona, or Southern California, shut your mouth. I don't want to hear from you. I don't want to hear about how you're laying out at the pool and you got a pool at your house. I don't care. Okay, listen, we're thinking about buying one of those pools inside and making an indoor pool as well what we're thinking about because I want to pull so bad. But anyway, so I always make me a Diet Coke. Now, in the Midwest, we, anything we call Coke or Diet Coke, you know, I've already done that in my other videos, but this is called make, you make a Diet Coke. It's kind of like cooking, but not really so much, okay? But you still make it because you have to put the ice in the cup and you have to pour it and all that kind of stuff. I love a good Diet Coke, don't you? 
Then, the next thing that you need is if you're gonna cook, you need to have treats, okay? Now, I've got several of my treats over here right now. Well, the first thing is, I love these Oreos, these golden Oreos. I mean, if you're cooking a meal, you kinda gotta have the bits and nibbles. Bits and nibbles, nibbles and bits while you're going, right? I love the fishes cause they're so delicious. I just looked down here and I was like, why do I have this honey out? I was like, I'm not cooking with honey tonight. I'm not even following a recipe. But I had to take the honey out so that you guys could be right there in my cabinet. Good night. Hello, good morning. Anyway, so you gotta have your Oreos. I love a good Oreo. I don't like just like the regular chocolate and vanilla Oreos. I do like this. This Oreo looks like it doesn't really have a lot of cream in it. That is cheats right there. Man, they're skimping on the Oreos. Anyway, I never said goodbye to an Oreo I didn't like. So that's the first thing. Gotta eat an Oreo, or, or five, or six. Then the next thing is, oh my God. Do you guys eat these baby bells? I am obsessed with these. I have a whole other bag of about 30 of these in the refrigerator. That was one of my essentials at Costco. Baby bell cheeses. I don't love the wrappers, but who I am winded. What is going on? So you have to have these uh, baby bells. This is more like snacking and cooking. We should call, I'll call the title that, snacking and cooking with Peter. But anyway, so here, I love these baby bell cheeses so much, okay? But don't eat them in one bite, don't, because then that means you're a fat so. And I'm a fat so, and sometimes I do. I go, oh. <laughs> anyway. And sometimes if you want uh, cheese and sweets, kind of like, Dessert in France. Do they do that or I'm just making that up? I think I'm just making that up. Anyway. And don't chew with your mouth open. But it's hard when you're a mukbang or, or a cooking channel. But don't cook with your mouth open. Because that's not nice. My mom always told me that. She always say zip it. Don't. Don't. Well, my cousin Caroline one time. She did. My mom was talking. They were out to dinner sometime. I think it was at Benihana for somebody's birthday or something like that. So I always go to everybody's birthdays at Benihana. Hey, Caroline. Hi, David. They watch this channel, so they know. But anyway, this was like uh, six months before my mom passed away. And they were out at dinner. My mom just was like, oh, 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 oh. my mother was like motor mouth Maybell. She could never shut her mouth. And my cousin looked at her and said, zip it. And my mother called me that night and she said, I have never been so hurt in my entire life. Your cousin Caroline, I love her like she's my own daughter and she told me to zip it. That was the last time that Caroline ever talked to my mom and that sad. No, I'm totally lying, I'm totally lying. That's not the truth. My mother loved Caroline with all of her heart, but she didn't like that. She didn't think that was very nice. You shouldn't tell somebody to zip it. But anyway, okay. Then the next thing is you wanna have even more snacks. Cause snacks are even better while you're cooking, right? Because then when it comes and, you know, the meal's ready, then you're not really hungry and then you just put it back in the fridge and you have it for tomorrow. And I like things cold, okay? Like pizza cold. I like pasta cold. I like everything cold. So anyway, now everybody's been asking me about this on my vlog. This is my secret recipe right here, okay? Everybody's been asking me about this. I have been talking nonstop about this Lay's French onion dip. I'm literally obsessed, okay? I am so obsessed. And let me tell you what I eat it with, too. I am, he, these are my ones from the Meyer. I just ran out of these when I got some more yesterday at the Costco. I am obsessed with the cheddar and sour cream. Rip, these are the cheap party size. I can eat a half. Ow, damnation. I can eat. <laughs> Damnation's kind of like Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation, but Peter Mont. <laughs> Pop and lock it. Okay, so, ow, that really did hurt though. I hope I don't have a cut up there. Oh my God, I can't even get workers comp because I just pay myself on this channel. Anyway, um, <laughs> that was so stupid. I need an Oreo. <laughs> anyway, I love this dip so much. Oh my God. I what I love about it the most is that sound it makes at five o'clock in the morning. That's a little trick in case you didn't know that. Woo! Baby, that's heaven right there. Anyway. This is what it looks like in case you've never had it, okay? It's like the worst, most processed nastiness you've ever seen in your entire life. And so delicious. I've been sitting there over in that chair right over there. And I've eaten like a whole container of this every single night. We are, we're not talking about losing weight over in this channel, okay? This is a cooking channel now. But not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. I'm doing a different video over here tomorrow. Y'all are like, what are you cooking? Well, hold on. We're going to get to that in just a second. Tomorrow I've got a review. I do have a review of something fun that my husband bought for each of us. So anyway, this is what you do. You take your chip and then you just like dip it in. <laughs> my husband doesn't eat it, so I can double dip it. <laughs> I just stop it because this is something I shouldn't have said. Anyway, that sometimes happens. That's what we do. We edit. Okay. So, but I can double dip if I want to because it's my chip and it's my dip. And don't you worry. Keep your paws off of it. Okay. 
Now, those baby bells are calling me over there. But listen, sometimes you gotta put your snack on the side while you're cooking because you gotta get your meal done, you know what I mean? Woo! Okay. Hell's bells. Now, we're gonna get to the cooking part right now. Have you ever wanted to have a delicious mac and cheese and a salad? Okay, so let me show you what I got. Hold on a second. I got this delicious mac and cheese <laughs> from Costco. Oh my God, look at this family size. We will eat the whole thing tonight. Don't think we won't. There's my husband's side and there's my side over here. Okay, so we're gonna start with this. And it says on here, oh Lord, I need my readers. <laughs> Hold on a second. I think it says something like 45 minutes because we've had these before. Cooking instructions, preheat heaven, <laughs> heaven, heaven, I'm in heaven. I just looked up and I have this tea right here and it's called Forever Nuts. Oh my Lord, family friendly. But that's us about here at the house right now, <laughs> Forever Nuts. Okay, um, preheat oven to 400 degrees. Okay, we're gonna, I know that's the stove. I don't cook. I don't really know the difference between the stove and the oven, but we're gonna try it. Okay, here, I know you wanna come along with me for the ride, so. Okay, radiant bake. Oh, it's already on that. Okay. Uh, I can see we don't really know how to cook around here. Now, my husband, he's been making like, uh, what do you call it? He's been making uh, avocado toast and things on a daily basis. Okay. Uh, remove clear lid. Okay. If I can get it off. <laughs> Family friendly. Okay. Hmm. There's a little cheese bit. Sometimes you want just eat those. Okay. <laughs> and this is what it looks like when you're done. That is my thumbnail. You guys are going to all think that I made it, didn't you? Oh, the directions. What's the next directions? Ooh, I was ready to eat it. Okay. <laughs> it's not ready yet, Peter. Okay. Cover lid with foil and place onto a baking sheet. Do we have any of that? Okay, yeah, we do. Place on center rack of oven and bake for 40 to 80 minutes. My Lord, I'm hungry now. Okay. Do we have any plastic wrap? Or we got saran wrap. We got aluminum foil. Here we got. It. We got aluminum foil, right here. Blackhawk is probably for my mom. So Twelve years old or something like that because we don't ever cook. I don't know what I'm doing here. I know that that edge right there is. We're almost professionals. Do you know what that's from? Oh my God, that's from Dolly Parton, Smoky Mountain Christmas. I love that movie so much. It's when her and that girl, see, look how good I am at this. I am so good. Oh, home act, baby. <laughs> yeah, I was sewing an apron in home act in seventh grade. They never knew. But anyway, they never knew what hit them. <laughs> I was like, eh, 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 eh. I was the best one in the class. Anyway, um, in Smoky Mountain Christmas, she hangs that girl little room. She takes a blanket, she hangs it over so she can have her own private little room because, you know, the girl's like 25 and she's still sleeping in. It doesn't matter, <laughs> okay? But it's just mountain stuff, mountain people. But anyway, and she says, not too bad because they were almost professionals. I love that so much. But anyway, I'm dreaming of a Smoky Mountain Christmas. Okay, well, now we have the mac and cheese already. I don't think y'all are going to have to be able to, I need to get this video up, truth be told, so you aren't going to get to see the finished product, okay? Maybe I'll take a picture of it and put it on my Instagram, then y'all can follow my Instagram. Okay. Then the next thing is you want to make a salad, don't you? So, I bought some iceberg lettuce and croutons and dressing and some lemons. I'm going to make my own dressing here in just a second. Hold on. I'm trying to open my stuff up. Now I got some croutons, and I got some iceberg lettuce, and I got lemons and cheese, and I got some dressing, and I'm gonna make it all home, homemade. And I'm gonna show you what that means, okay? What that means is, whew, hold on a second. And get this bowl to make my salad. And then I'm gonna take this kit that I bought from Costco, okay? And the Costco kit, it has iceberg lettuce and then it has croutons i love croutons so much don't you look what is a salad without a crouton okay and then it has two things of dressing which is good because i like a lot of dressing and then it has lemons on it lip citrus we need citrus and vegetables since we're staying at home but anyway so then i'm gonna make that salad and then i'm gonna put it in this bowl and then nobody will know the difference that it's not see we didn't like make it home scratch don't even try so anyway i'm not gonna make y'all wait for the end of this 
Oh, but then the serving, the serving's the best. Now, we're real fancy around here, so we're using paper bowls. These are paper bowls. Pla what do you call them? Do you call these cardboard? What do you call them? Paper bowls? What do you call them? Paper plates? Paper bowls. Paper bowls. You get one for your salad. You don't want to mix. And you get one for your macaroni and cheese. So we each get two, okay? And then we have fa fancy napkins. And by that, I mean that. <laughs> Look, we're ready. See? We've cooked, we've made up, we've cleaned as we go, and we snap. We've goed. Goed is now a word, G O E D. I'll be using that in my words with friends. I'm playing words with friends now. My name is the real Peter Mon. You can find me. I'm playing with about 400 people right now. The real nice good Judy's. I met a lot of real nice people over there. They like message me and they say things. Sometimes they say things that aren't real family friendly, but that's okay. It kind of keeps me entertained at five o'clock in the morning. So anyway, I've shown you how to make a perfect meal over here. Okay. For two or five or 10, it doesn't really matter. And um, I don't know, put in the comment section below what you've been cooking at home. And I will take a picture of this and I will put it on my Instagram story at Peter Mon. So that's my name, Peter Mon. See? Anyway, I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow back with a review. Bye.